I'm already clear here with Robin Oatman, uh, Super Bowl champion, played for the Cleveland Browns, drafted in 1996. 696, yep. Okay, you got drafted with Ray Lewis and the boys? Yeah, I was in that draft class. That was actually the uh, considered the biggest, the best receiver draft class in the last 20 years. So you're a T.O., Joe Horn, Marvin Harrison, Amani Toomer, uh, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of productive guys that played all, you know, 10 plus years in the league. You know, Marvin Harrison's from Philadelphia. Of course he is. Of course, that's why I threw his name in there. Yeah, <laughs> he was a heck of a receiver at the end. It's a shame, though, he broke down. He couldn't play anymore. Well, I mean, he was always a slasher. You know, he wasn't a uh, get caught, get hit across the middle guy, but he ran good routes. So he had a good career. Uh, but I think everyone in our class uh, did extremely well. And now you're here with the camp here. What do you do here, Roman? Well, I give speeches uh, on the recruiting process. So I, t I educate a lot of uh, student athletes, scholar athletes, uh, and parents about certain things you need to know about the recruiting process, timelines, NCAA rules, regulations, and just making sure that you know everyone has a place where they can play. Everyone's not going to go to Syracuse or Notre Dame or wherever. Uh, maybe you're a Division II guy. I mean, I talked about a guy like T.O. I played in the Senior Bowl with him. He went to UT Chattanooga, and he still had a good long NFL career. But it's not about your NFL career. It's about putting yourself in a position to be a desirable scholar athlete by colleges and universities, and that's what I've discussed with them. And, is, and I'm sure you stress the, the education uh, as the number one priority? Right. I mean, the only numbers that matter is your GPA, not your, your 40 times. So that, that's one thing they need to stress. And if it's one kid versus another, the, the ability is the same, they're going to look at the kid with the better grades because that kid is going to go to college and uh, take advantage of the opportunity and not mess it up. So that's, especially the urban kids, I tell them that. Like, stop. You do a lot of camps, a lot of these kind of things, but if your grades aren't good, you, you won't get looked at by anybody. You try to nurture these kids if they're on the wrong path to put them back on the right path? I just tell them the truth, and I think sometimes uh, you need that third party. You know, you think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Your parents do that. You're in this little environment, but you need that third party who's not related to you, who doesn't, he's not your coach, who's not kissing your butt. You need that person telling you the truth, and that's kind of that's what I do. Roman. Roman Oven from the Cleveland Browns won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's been a pleasure to be on the Artie Clear Show. Thank you, sir. Thank you.